how does God work within our everyday circumstances and situations? You know, there's a lot of people, obviously, you think, well, God is sovereign. Therefore, everything that happens must be his sovereign will because it happened. Now, I'm not following that hyper-Calvinistic view or even this a Muslim worldview. If something happened, it must have been God's will. I don't believe that. I believe most of the things that happen are our will and we choose and we have the consequences of the things we choose. Within that, God obviously wants to bring good out of it. He wants to redeem everything and bring good out of it because he loves us. But he won't, in, he won't control us into making the decisions that he wants us to make because he wants that to be a relational thing. Like Jesus only did what he saw the father doing. You know, I want to do things out of the father's heart and relationship not because I feel duty, or obligation, or have to do things. Um, so what happens in everyday life, the more aware I think are we are of constantly living in the presence of God, the more our choices become flowing out of my relationship with him, rather than out of my own understanding. So I choose not to lean to my own understanding, and I choose to operate from my face-to-face -face relationship with the Father as a son. Um, and then instinctively, I find I'm making choices without having to ask even the question. Sometimes I just know what did I need to do in this situation? Now, when we make choices which are not aligned to our identity and destiny, those things are, you could say, our wood, hay and straw on our scroll. But the fire of God's love will purify our scroll so that all those wood, hay and straw things get removed. Therefore, there will only be gold, silver and precious stones on our scroll. I do believe that our scroll is not a fixed, rigid thing. It's more of a, of a personality profile of who we are and therefore the things that we do in relationship with God and as an expression of his image and likeness and also as an expression of his multifacetedness. Because obviously God is multifaceted. And I, and I believe that that multifacetedness of God, we are an aspect of that and a ref, reflection of that. Therefore, I think God definitely is working within every moment of our lives. And I think that is the key for me. God is transcendent, but also imminent. And in the imminence of God, it feels that God can be surprised, that God can not know what's going to happen. The next choice you make, you know, a lot of people go on to, well, God foreknows everything there. God knows what's going to happen and therefore God has planned it all. I don't believe that. I believe in a more open theistic theology. There are different views of God's sovereignty, some that he's totally sovereign, some that, well, his permissible sovereignty, you know, and ultimately, you know, there are others who have a different view that God is more working within it, uh, with us within time, although still exists outside of time and space. So I do believe that my scroll has changed. I've accepted things that weren't on my original scroll. Um, and I also, I believe God has removed the things that, that I did on my scroll, which were not aligned to the right motive and the right heart. And the fire of his eyes have purified it. And I just have good ends, uh, you know, gold, silver, and precious stones. But I also believe that this possibility that when we do something which is not aligned, that God can rewrite our scroll to enable the good that he wants to bring out of it to bring us back to the fulfillment of our scroll. So it's not a fixed, rigid document, more of a, of a flexible, fluid script. That can be rewritten in every episode if you like which gives me a view that god is involved in every moment of my life and i want to be conscious of him in every moment of my life but he's not there trying to force me into anything but he is there trying to unveil his heart so the choices i make in my everyday life are aligned to his heart now obviously there are things that you progressively come into revelation of which then you think well if i only knew this 20 years ago what would i be but you didn't. And in the timing and person purposes and seasons of God, I have to trust that he knows what he's doing. You know, so I trust that, that if I didn't know that 10 years ago is because 
you didn't want me to know that 10 years ago for whatever reason or but i wasn't able to know that 10 years ago like jesus said to the disciples there are many things i want to tell you but you're not able yet he talked about nicodemus about talking about earthly things and he didn't understand and what about the heavenly things that he, he wanted to reveal that he couldn't understand so i think there's a sense where maturity brings about revelation or an unveiling that will bring us into a deeper understanding in that way um i don't ultimately believe that our past can totally affect our future in the it is fixed and rigid therefore the past must repeat itself obviously if there are generational issues we want to be free from them i believe in immortality therefore i can't have death and generational death within my dna therefore there's got to be a new creation reality for my dna and its purification if you like in alignment to my actual identity in god rather than my identity that i've received from my generation ancestors so i do believe god is involved in all of my life he wants me to enjoy life but he doesn't give me a fixed rigid way of doing it and he doesn't even give me a fixed rigid way of doing all the things that he's wanting me to be involved in i get to choose creationally and who from who i am that's the things that i do and the way i do them so there's a myriad of ways I can outwork God's purposes in my life in any moment. I just need to keep choosing the right ones. If I don't, there's no guilt, shame and condemnation. I am not going to run and move away from God. I'm just going to go back to him and learn from those things and learn to make better choices without God being, oh, you stepped outside of my will. You're going to be punished or now you're open to the enemy because you stepped out. So God is not that like that. He's a loving father. He wants the best for us he's, he's not going to throw us out the house if we made a mistake you know so a lot of the religious mindsets around uh, the way god works in everyday life and in our lives tend to operate on judgment and anger and frustration and annoyance with us and therefore well, i'm going to teach them a lesson god wants to teach us through what happens so the good comes out of it not that we're punished or negative things happen because we've made a mistake or we've chosen to do the wrong thing god loves us unconditional love is really what it's about and therefore god wants us to experience and live in unconditional love therefore rest in love joy and peace so he's active but he's not controlling us he wants a deep intimate relationship which inspires us and motivates us without him forcing us in any way to make decisions he wants us to choose the right decisions and that is more likely the more close we are to him and the more we live in heart to heart face to face communion with him if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much